Okay. All right, so read it. Hold on, I'm looking for my little dots here. Make you primary. Got it, yeah. All right, so close the guard. More. Okay. So from the closed guard, uh, you know, we're talking about how you pretty much have to open to do most of the sweeps, most of the submissions. We're going to open our guard, right? And we're looking for some submissions besides arm bars, because everybody knows the arm bar here. And obviously the triangle, I don't think I need to talk about that one either, or the omoplata, because we always do those three. Uh, so let's talk about Kimura. There's another one, right? So we go, you're clear the arms. I could go for a Kimura. Let's talk about the sit-up sweep. So we're talking about how if I open my guard to go for the guillotine, are they just going to pass, right? So yeah, if I leave my guard open here and I don't do anything, go ahead and pass. He gets up off her knees, go ahead, pass. And then starts to pass, right? Okay, go back. She had to get up off her knees. Yeah. So the fact that she's static here, she's not like trying to stand and pass my guard. I have a second. So when I clear the arms, bringing my knees to my chest to bring her forward, she's gonna need to posture first before she can start to get up to her knees, right? So boom. I come up, she's not passing, right? Maybe she, so now I have the Kimura sweep, but maybe she pushes back into me, not like that. She pushes back into me to flatten me back down. This is where I move my butt. So I'm sitting forward, resisting that push, and now I can lock up my guillotine, right? So I'm holding this grip here, and then come back in, closing the guard. And we can finish the guillotine. So I can open. Back up. I can open. I don't have to worry about them passing. I just don't chill there, right? <coughs> so right here. Boom. Clear the arms. Sitting up. I can go for this sweep, but she's going to push back. Right. Lock it up. Uh, so we have that. We have the guillotine. Um, some others. We have what we worked on. I hate that one. All right. Here. Now I have the Walsh. All right. We have that one. The one's where we swim under the armpit. You were here for that? Yeah. Alex? I think you were. Yeah, he was here. I think he's muted. Yeah, I was here for that one. You were there for that one. Yeah. So all the ones where we swim under the armpit here. We can do those from closed guard. We kind of did that already, so we'll just watch another video for that one. Um, let's see. No arm bar. Reverse arm bar. So I talked about that. So it's the same, but it's still an arm bar. But here, I bring the arm, the hand above. So instead of swimming all this way where it comes under my arm, I'm going to swim a little bit, but then I'm going to let it land here by my head. Pinch the wrist, shrimp foot on the hip, knee on the shoulder, and I can reverse arm right there. So there's that. Uh, I'm forgetting all the stuff I rambled off before we started. Uh, mm -hmm. I rambled off a bunch of stuff. Um, well, same thing as the Dars. Dars, <laughs> yeah, the Dars is a weird one. You might not do from this position, but we can work on it, right? The Dars, you go from, let's say you arm drag, right? So I can arm drag there. Instead of the uh, clearing, I drag, right? So if I drag, I'm holding the tricep with the right hand, the one that I drag the tricep with, and I can sit up. So to Dars, this hand would shoot under, drop the head, and lock. Mm -hmm. Let's turn because they can't see that. So I'm going to. Maybe act like I'm going to do a regular arm bar, but instead I arm drag, right? So I trapped her here. I still want to sit up. This hand's going to shoot, and this hand's going to bring her head down. So I basically put my armpit over the back of her head. Bicep, a hand to the bicep, and lock up. She's already tapping there, okay? <coughs> Which is like the Walsh, right? So if I drag, so I don't have to swim under this to get the Walsh. I can just drag it too, and lock around. And there's a Walsh there. 
And Walsh is another type of arm triangle. What else we got? What, so arm triangle slash arm in guillotine, right? Or no? Gamora. Is that wrong? Arm triangle slash arm. Uh, arm in guillotine would be, I came here, I sat up. And see the arms on this side? It's on, okay, it's opposite. And then I rock in and get it, right? Uh, Walsh is arm in, yes, but on the other side, it's the on side the, that on the this. head's on. That's I the difference. You. So okay. they are similar, but they're on the other side. But that's the difference, okay. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> guillotine. When you ask me to name them or do them, it goes away. Um, so, guillotine, arm in, arm out. We have Walsh, the Dars. We have, um, of course, the armbar, omoplata, triangle, kimura. Uh, we can use the sit-up sweep. We use that just to show the, the guillotine as a setup. A reverse armbar, that can go into omoplata, and that goes back into triangle. <laughs> oh, someone's there. <laughs> And then we have um, the, the anaconda, <laughs> right? So you have all that stuff right there. The anaconda would be set up uh, like a Walsh, rear naked choke grip, basically. Ba basically, you could argue that it's a Walsh, it's not an anaconda, but you can also do that from closed guard. So that is. Let's do that. So, when she gets back, we'll do that sweep too. When um, it goes. Yeah. So when you open, when you open to go guillotine, you're just leaving it open. Are you coming here at all? No, I don't even worry about that because no. <clears throat> because if you're if you're trying to get up, obviously if you're trying to stand, and I lift right. your feet in the air, even just a little bit, you're not going to be able to stand, right? Right. Now, if you're trying to sit up, it's the same thing, right? Have you ever did a sit up and you're like, not sit up, but not a sit up, but like to sit forward like you are with your feet in the air. Can you pick your feet up and lean forward at the same time? No. Not and lean forward, right? No. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to sit up and lean forward because they're trying to push you backwards at the same time. So when you lace your legs around, grapevine your legs, you're making it harder for yourself to move, also to shrimp away. When I sit up here, so let's say I went here and now I want a guillotine instead, I push my hips back. It's hard to do that with your feet in the air, right? So I would not, I would just keep my feet outside their knees. Okay. We had a cat earthquake. See yeah, Alex, this is why we pay him all the money. <laughs> <laughs> My cat's getting paid. <laughs> All right, let's do this sweep. So that be, this being said, I haven't uh, actually seen the person you were talking about do this sweep, but this is what. I this is the sweep uh, that I that I know. So when she goes to stand up, right? Maybe they pick you up. Maybe they don't. When I was taught this stand up, we pick the person up, right? But sometimes they don't. You can put your feet a little closer together, not to me, too closer together. So what you can do, I open and close right here around the knee area. Yep. Now. If I, it's like the wrestling cake down where you grab the knees and you uh, squeeze together and twist. I'm going to right. twist and I make sure they can't post. So I pull this away. You fell? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she said I fell. It's been, yeah, yeah. And now look, I have the mount. I, I don't have to change anything. Right? <laughs> you were supposed to fall. I twist, but you, I twist. Yeah, you were, that's what's supposed to happen. Uh, she didn't know the sweep. Uh, no, I don't know it. This no. is called jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> when they stand up, I keep my guard always. You don't open till you're ready. Like, they're right. going to be trying to open it, but I'm going to open on purpose when I'm ready. And I lock no. right at the knees. 
Now I'm gonna, uh, it's hard to describe. I'm bringing this meat up towards my chest and I'm bringing my calf like around the corner. I'm trying to create that twist motion in her knees as I squeeze her knees together. And I'm gonna pull this this way because I don't want her to be able to post. She's opening right. a bottle of wine. Like yeah, that. There you go. <laughs> now I just slide to the middle. Where's my glass? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's how you saw it done, but that's the one that I know. Yeah, that's similar. I mean, that's similar. Essentially, that's what it is. Yeah. And you can yeah. do that so, when their feet are closer together. When she had a wide stance, I probably could do it, um, but I'm going to put some force against her knees and she has, you know. Some, oh, yeah, you, you definitely like could. But uh, you could still do it with a little bit wider stance. But it's better when they're close together. That's the optimal time, you know. Yeah. So is there? So the next question then mm -hmm. is: there a way to get them to get a, a narrower stance? You know, we talk all the time about making them give something and baiting them into something else. Can what? What would be the most? I mean, obviously, there's a way to get to make somebody feel off balance if they didn't try to reset. Um, so. You want to make them have a narrower stance when they have a wide stance. What I would do is um, the first time they try to stand up and it's a wide stance is I would hook like uppercut around the heel. Like I'm going to go X guard or the waiter sweep. You know, I've got a couple of waiter sweeps too, but uh, one of the waiter sweeps or muscle sweeps, some people call it. Um, because then once he fights that and defends it, let's say you didn't sweep him. Now he's going to worry about where he puts that foot, right? And maybe he puts, hides that one, but he goes wide with the other one. So you do that to the other side. Right. And the next time for sure, he's going to either not stand up or he's going to be a little bit narrower. You know, that was so weird. So someone's going in and out your door. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they, who is that? <laughs> I'm trying to look in my house for someone going in and out a door. And I'm like, all oh, my doors are closed. <laughs> just try to keep her at a camera shot. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. uh, he says he he says he sees you walking in another room and he's freaking out, thinking somebody's walking behind him. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't put two and two together because I'm looking at you. And I'm thinking it's me in my camera. Okay, um, so you're conditioning them to have a narrower stance, right? That's what I would do, condition them, uh, because any other way is you're forcing them which means you're using some type of effort, right? And you're fighting them and we're trying to conserve energy. So I would try to condition them by taking advantage of the wide stance, you know? And I think going for an X guard or one of those, um, one of those type sweeps would be a great way to condition that one. So they're more narrow and they hide their feet. Or you just use it against guys that have a narrower stance, you know, and then have another option which essentially is the same thing. You have another option for the guys with the wide stance, and then when they go wide stance, they have to correct. You know, most will have so a wider. You don't stance. think it'll you don't think it'll work just sliding down even with it like will. a wider. It can. Yeah. Uh, because the way we're shaped, right? So you might have to loosen and tighten, loosen and tighten, like cinch it up, right? So to right. Speak, as right, you get right. lower. But you want to be right around the knees. That's the effective spot. Yeah. You know, any lower than the knees, they could step out of it. So you want to be right around the knees. Because um, I'm thinking, you know, natural reaction. Like said, uh, you know, like uh, like we were talking about earlier, trying to pass. They're going to want to push on that knee. They're trying so to when open they, your. When they try to push, exactly. You just let it. You know, give it to them. Let them. Yeah. You know, just slide yeah, down their legs. They're going to stand. They're going to try to open the guard. Um, so how I'm taught, we don't have the geese right now, but holding like reins of the horse style, right? Step, I push on them, step right. up, step up, squat, and I'm picking them up right here. Yeah. Right? Once I got them up, one hand, pushing their leg down. I do right. have to go a little narrower if I want it to be easy to open the guard. Otherwise, right. it's just a shelf. Also, you're, yeah, I was just gonna say, yeah, you're, you're preventing it yourself. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, and then she didn't pick me up, but you can still do it the same way. So when they pick yeah. you up, 
that one could be real good to on the wide stance because they're holding you up basically like a shelf. And then when you're ready, right, let's say they narrow up a little bit. Now you're ready. It's not just your legs wrapped around their legs that's trying to squeeze them together, but there's a little bit of your body weight too helping. Not all of it, but a little bit of it. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, see, I, like I said, I, I like that one. When I saw it in the competition, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He hit it a lot. Yeah. You know? I, I, yeah. That's a sweet. We just got to come up with a better better name for it, though. Because <laughs> it it's not going to be cool if you do it with that name, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mermaid. <laughs> you want to be king of the mermaid sweep? Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what? It's called that? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Well, no, exactly. you know, the, we call Forget yourself that cool, like Poseidon, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, you're like the Kraken. You're the king of the mermaids. There you, there go. you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's a twist that I, I need. Or we could just call you like a mermaid name like Fluffy or something. Like <laughs> exactly. Ariel. <laughs> yeah, Ariel. Don't start. You hit the, you hit the Ariel. <laughs> you, might, you might end up with Ariel as a nickname after the quarantine. <laughs> there have been worse nicknames. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, you know what? There, there's another. Nobody has anything. Do you have something else, Arsenio? No, like I said, I'm just watching these competitions and. Okay. Yeah. So, so I've got one. So it's one that we never went over. Um, we've gone over, but you and I haven't gone over. I said, I said, oh, next time we got to remember to do that. So, half guard. Uh, person starts. It's actually become quarter guard. So you've only got ankle in. Okay. Right. There was a sweep here. Um, so it's, it's only the ankle, so it's. it's I think uh, it's. I think I know which one you're talking about. Slice, the one that I like, that I do a lot. Yes. Okay. It's right here. Okay. I, and I like they're trying to pass. They're trying to knee slice through. Right. Yeah, and we've gotten we're basically in quarter guard, or all yeah. I've got left is the is the, uh, the ankle. Yeah. Right at okay. the There's a sweep here that you've done. A million times and I don't know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have to charge for this one. For this yeah. One. <laughs> this is a secret one. This is a super effective <laughs> this is yeah. this is when you get it down. It's really well, because um, another it's Alex still, Ninja, you know. The last we started uh, in our privates we were talking about um, you said you know just grab the shin. That's great. That's awesome. But then I have no place to go. <laughs> so I grab the shin, I start sitting up, and then somebody who's bigger or whatever can just toss me wherever. So I want to I want to go over that sweep. Yep. All right, ready? Move your butt. All right. So we got the half guard, and she's trying to pass. She's gonna knee slice, right? So she's bringing her knee. Okay, good. So she has an underhook. This underhook, I really don't want, okay? So actually, we're gonna have to address that underhook first, okay? And we should, because it's very common, they're gonna try to get that underhook to pass, right? So go ahead and go back a little bit. You don't want to do that one? No, no, it's fine. So I'm preparing, I'm stepping this leg over for my half guard, and I'm putting my heel right in the crook of her ankle so it can catch later okay now I'll, I'll prepare like that all the time and okay she has the underhook that's fine we're gonna work on that you so get it out? no no it's fine so she gets her knee and she starts to knee slice boom right there good okay so there's a lot of ways to get our underhook back we could try to re-swim it good luck with that right but we can we could try but if she's here already chances are her underhook's too good so I'm gonna do something that looks really weird. I'm gonna take this hand, I'm gonna throw it like way over that way. So like in wrestling, it's like a throw by, but I'm also gonna belly out. I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> looks dangerous, right? Yeah. What would you do? Try to get my back? First thing, what would I do? Yeah, <laughs> so I can't let that out. Oh, I, I think it's a gift. Yeah, so I can't let that out. <laughs> But if I have it, go to knee slice. Boom. Now I'm kind of safe here. She can't get my back. Go. 
to get out of that. You're back. Yeah. She's got to get the foot out. Yeah, I got to get my foot out. Can you get I can go without ahead. hurting your knee? No, I'm going to hurt it. Okay. It's what I did was I tightened up on the ankle. So the lock that I'm trying to get here, I'm going to have to go backwards, is this here. So do I have to? I'm catching here. I'm triangling as tight as I can. My heel is coming close to my butt, and this heel close to my butt. And I'm squeezing my inner thighs. So now. And this is my foot right here. Moving. Of course. So now <laughs> she can't get her, her foot out. I'm locked way too tight on it. Okay. Uh, for her to get out, she has to turn like I showed with the knee slice. She has to get her hip to the mat and point her knee that way. Right? Yeah. And that, now so she's she going to be able to kick out. She's trying to she, kick out. She's, she's giving your. Yeah, her now she can kick out, right? So but that's. Back, it's just supposed. Yeah, but that, yeah. we took away, we're in a vacuum right now. We're just going over right. that one thing, the ankle, right? Remember you had an underhook. Yeah. Your back's not exposed. So that's how she has to get out. Uh, she don't give her back there because she has the underhook. Right. We took away the underhook just to show the ankle. Okay. So now we're back to, I need the underhook, okay? So if I hold the ankle tight and I get everything the way I need it, I can belly out like I did and she's not gonna get her foot out and get my back. Okay, so we address that. <clears throat> so, so I get my lock, boom. She's got her underhook and she's looking to pass. I need my underhook. So I belly out and bring my elbow close to my rib and now I got the underhook, right? So hold a little bit better underhook. Okay, she got a better underhook here. I belly out. <laughs> you still got it. Yeah. And that one I didn't have to belly out so much. What happened if I whiz her? That's fine. Okay. okay. You can whiz her. You should whiz her. If you don't whiz her, then right? it's easy. Yeah, hold my it. back. Hold my back. So if you don't whiz her. Yeah, exactly. Right? So she's going to whiz her. Okay. Okay. So now I got the underhook. We established that. If she continues to try to pass, Without getting the underhook, that's when I do my move. If she gets her underhook again, then we just keep playing this game, right? Until she gives up and says, well, I'm just gonna try to pass without the underhook. Uh, so now, let's go back. Are you knee back in? And now I'll try to pass. Okay, so now for her to pass, she's still gonna try to pass with her overhook instead. Since she's not getting the underhook, She's gonna to try to pass with the overhook. So that way I don't get her back when she passes. Okay, that would be the next best thing. She can't get the underhook, so she passes with an overhook, not allowing me to get the back. For her to pass and get her foot out, what she gotta do? She has to get her hip to the mat and point her knee that way, right? Yes. So now look, there was a little bit of space when she first did that. I can probably still get it in. My, no, no, take okay, it out. Okay, I'm not taking it out. Uh, so now my bottom leg is going to come through, but I got to make sure that my top leg is pinching really tight. So now my bottom oh, leg yeah. comes through <laughs> like that. So I have her foot trapped with just the top leg and my knee I brought up to her knee. Now watch, all I do is pivot my knee that way. There she goes. So look at the lock. Spin that way, your head. This is what I have. It's difficult. This really tight, and this knee against her knee. Prying her knee the other way when I pivot, and that's allowing, not allowing her foot to come out. No, it's right? the spin. From here, I can push the knee away. Oh, I'm going to the base and get the side control. Uh, so let's do it from the back. Can they break their foot like that? Um, like their foot lock? I've had people get hurt trying to get their leg out. Yeah, yeah right? So oh. we're, we're here. I passed, right? Mm -hmm. she, she's trying to knee slice, and she had the underhook, mm -hmm. right? So I belly out, slice in. She's still gonna try to get her foot through. So she starts doing that. I slide the, <laughs> I slide the, go back. Yeah. <laughs> I am in back. Okay. I slide, uh, this has to be really tight here. Okay, right there. Ah! That's what I'm looking for, and I slide my knee in. Now I just pivot, right? 
Grab her knee. Come out. Do not get the food out, guys. So you're gonna break your feet. Yeah. It's that, too tight. That's that's the move. That's the one you're so talking like, about, right? Imagine that's if like you a, have a leg curl. Foot, you'll break it. I'm leg curling the whole time. That's so foot. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is I step over and drag the ankle out. I use the triangle just to tighten it. Sometimes I'll even reach back and pull my heel even closer to my butt. I'm getting as much a pinch on the ankle as I can. So the only way out is to do the knee slice properly. When I do the knee slice properly, that parallel uh, angle with the mat allows my knee to slip through, right? Because it takes pressure off her knee. She really needs to be jamming her knee in the mat so I don't replace. She's right. allowing me to replace a little bit, right? And that helps me assist her knee over her. That window. Takes her backwards, yeah. And the foot is pink. And the funny story with that is uh, I've been doing that a long time, and then um, I showed it in a class, and then we did this um, thing with a competition. And so the instructor that worked with me, he went and taught at another location for like a week or two weeks. And um, so whatever, he was there over there teaching. And then we did this uh, seminar not long ago. Actually, it's been a while now. But anyway, we did a seminar where seven or eight of the black belts, might have been nine. There was a bunch of us black belts, and we all went and just showed one move. And uh, one of the guys... Not the one I worked with, but one of the guys that I trained with us, he's like um, showing this move and he did a little introduction. He's like, I don't know who showed me this move. But I've been doing it ever since and it works great. And uh, so he shows the move and I'm like, that's my move. I didn't show him that move. I showed so-and-so this move. He must have taught it when he was teaching at that guy's school. <laughs> but anyway, so that, that one's out. But yeah, you no, know, I don't have too many secrets. But that was that was one. That of was them. your move. That was one of them. <laughs> it's still your move. He stole it. Yeah, people <laughs> see me do that in the competition. I remember uh, one guy trying not to use the names, but anyway, I, anyway, I had that position, and everyone's worried the guy was going to pass my guard, and he was like, "No, Brian's done that to me. That guy's not going to pass." Sure enough, <laughs> I use it. I sweep the guy. I pass his guard. You know, and uh, he told me at the end, like, everyone thought I was going to get passed right there. That's my bait. <laughs> I think they're going to pass. Now, all they need is a little bit more out. So they try really hard to get their foot out. And then, right. you know, and you want to wait for that. You want to wait for that last moment. So um, you're, you're actually getting your knee underneath their leg? Yes. Um, I'm sli they're, they're trying to put their knee like that. Yeah, right. like that to, to be able to kick their leg out. And I slide my thigh right under their thigh and my knees right under their knee. And then my knee presses that way when I switch my hip. That takes them right over my body. Yeah. So you really got to wait until they start to sit out. I wait. I bait it. Yeah. yeah. Mainly I'm you just gotta... taking my time and I'm, I'm cinching up on their ankle. And I'm making yeah. sure there's no way I'm going to lose it wow, because crazy. when it's time to put my knee under there, I don't have a lock on it anymore. It has to be held with just that one leg. So my, I have to be pinching it. My foot's wedged to the ground. Like that's part of the lock is the ground now, right? Cause I don't have my triangle anymore. So my toes are digging in the ground, pinching on the foot, right? And the, my heel's so close to my butt that like, their foot how's their foot even in there but it's in there right and it's caught and that's why it's so tight and then I can use my other leg to help pry them over you could probably do it without sliding the knee under but it's gonna take more effort right it's gonna take yeah. more effort because you're forcing them over now right just by the lock and rolling them where the knee is very minimal effort all your efforts in making sure your lock is tight, right? And that <clears throat> that follows up on some other stuff. So um, if you can't get the underhook, what I'll do is I'll do the belly out, 
bring my elbow in. And if they just keep fighting for that underhook and you can't get it, right, I'll go around their legs instead. So I'll actually hold their leg. Or remember, Alex, I showed you hold their shin. Mm -hmm. And that way, uh, because you're not going to be able to do this sweep, it's very difficult if they have the underhook. It's almost not worth trying it because you're going to mess up. Uh, so instead, I hold their legs or their shin. And now I actually allow them to pass. But when they pass, I start either finishing my double leg because I wrapped around their legs, or I start lifting that shin. And that creates a situation where they're going to be on bottom because I'm either getting a sweep or I'm picking up a single leg, you know? Yeah, that shin, that shin grab has been very uh, effective. It's, yeah, but it's, this is, I mean, you got to be pretty comfortable and pretty confident with this sweep. With the what? You have to be pretty confident with this particular sweep. There's a lot that can go yeah. wrong. Yeah. Well, I've been doing this one since blue. And it started out just holding on to the half guard for dear life, right? Yeah. Just like not wanting to get past and getting to that point where I just had the ankle. And then like, what am I going to do here? Like last ditch effort. And, yeah. uh, and actually it started developing for me to the point where I'll let people get their knee out just so I can do this move, right? So mm -hmm. it's like probably not the best position to be in, but it's like, why do people pull guard, right? It's not the best position to be in, but they got so darn good at it that right. they, they, they like being there, you know? So it's kind of the same idea, I guess. Well, the thing is too, it's, uh, it's instinct. You're, you're a trapped animal when, you know, you just have – your ankle, you know what I mean? You're like, oh, I could rip this out. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's All what I gotta do, is... do. Yep. Right. They're they're yeah. this close to scoring three more points and then going for submissions, right? Of course. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. I know. Anytime I've gotten caught in that point, I'm like, oh man, I, all I gotta do is get my foot out. Yep. Yeah. You know, you're not thinking ahead. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. I... And you think you're doing the right thing, dropping your hip, right? Because right? exactly. Try getting the foot out any other way. Twist, someone twisting that's your good. foot. Right. right, exactly. Twisting you got to put your hip on the mat. You got to get parallel and kick your knee and foot towards the ceiling, right? In an arc yeah. towards the wall and ceiling. And uh, so they're not doing wrong. It's just there's a move for that, you know? Right. Yep. So, so the only thing that's holding the, the leg in really is the back of your foot. Yeah, so, just that pinch wow. of the knee. Yep. So that's got a wedge super you, tight. Yeah, you just, you just push it against the mat. Yeah, I would, um, yeah, yeah. And bring your toes really close to your butt. Yeah, even more, like the most you can, right? It's like they should feel like that squeeze. That's going to be yeah. obvious for them that you're really holding that ankle. But they probably just think you're desperate there, you know? And now your other foot put in a position where you could pivot, like you do a hip switch, right? So it needs to be on the ground. For, yeah, and see how your knee can lift his knee? And now it's just a hip switch, and you push his knee with your knee. There you go. That's the sweep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have to drill that a million times. Because that's, I mean, if you miss that, you're fast. Mm -hmm. And you're in a bad position. <laughs> yeah. And then when you get good at it, when you think you're good at it, do with Danny. Because Danny's, yeah, yeah. Danny's got a good knee slice, right? And so this is a good, good move for him. You're going to get a lot of opportunities to practice well, that was one of the reasons we started talking about that shin grab because he was getting me all the time with the, the knee slice. And then I was able to I stop, stop him once. I, you know, I grabbed his shin and he wasn't sure what to do. And I was able to sit up and pull guard. The second yeah. time, he just picked me up and threw me. <laughs> I mean, was, I, I grabbed his shin. I went to sit up. He had, a, he had his arm over my back. And he just picked me up and put me where he wanted me to go. So, <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, you know, that's how we get better, right? Yeah. You, got, you find something that's an answer to their answer mm -hmm. but that the shin grab was good i did try this one but i think i was i, I don't think i had my foot this, yeah i don't think i had that, that top leg trap that's that the leg. number one key on this move yeah. is that ankle and then the second would be just getting the leg flush yeah yeah and waiting for the right time too right because if you try to put wedge it in there they're going to, oh, something's up here. What's he trying to do? You know, and then they're not going to try to pass right away. They're going to try to figure out what you're doing. 
And uh, so being patient on that, and then when the time's right, slide your knee in there. There's going to be plenty of room. That's not going to be the hard part. The hard part is going to be getting a good lock on that ankle. That's going to be a skill that develops over time. You know? Good lock. Like that. Uh, what? A skill. How do you do it a lot? Yeah, drilling. Drilling and uh, mainly practicing it on people when they are live, right? Because people are going to try different things. They're not all going to do the same thing. I mean, it's limited what they can do, but they're going to try to get their foot out different ways. And you have to be confident that the squeeze you have is good, right? And it just takes time to do it. Practice it. Yeah. I'm seeing double. Hey. <laughs> oh, the half. Oh, hey. Hi, guys. How you doing? It's hard to see it because of the light flash. Yeah. I've got the, uh, the controls on that side. <laughs> oh, you got the cameras yeah. and all that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What else? We got anything else? We got three minutes for the recording at least. Good on that. Let me close that out and then we can do the fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs>